Richard Southern is back with us to dive into some of the more interesting stories of the day, starting off with something uncomfortable to think about. Maybe there's new research out on what kind of bacteria may be lurking beneath our smartwatch wristbands. Uh oh, you got an Apple Watch, right? I don't. I don't actually. Oh, you don't? No, I want Good one. For you. I want a smartwatch. When I first got the, this is bad, when I first got the Apple Watch, I wore it in the shower and I was like reading work emails in the shower. Oh, goodness. And I thought to myself, this is crazy. I, <laughs> I stopped doing that. But I do wear the Apple Watch and now I'm thinking about this story. Researchers, Erica, they found harmful bacteria lurks within your Apple Watch wristband. Di uh, uh, bacteria that can cause fever and diarrhea. They swabbed, uh, you know, thousands of people's wristbands, and 95% of them had like nasty things like E. coli bacteria lurking in them. Uh, gym goers were the uh, were the worst as far as bacteria count were concerned. Uh, the team found uh, wristbands made of gold and silver were the most sanitary. Now okay. I'm, I'm thinking of like. You know, putting some bleach in my Apple Watch. Really <laughs> yeah, I already think about it with my cell phone, how much bacteria must be on it. And now with the smartwatch, we just got to clean it constantly, safely. You know, yeah. when someone hands you their phone, hey, take a look at this. I never want to touch no. I don't want to touch anyone's phone. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. No. <laughs> Following a fierce bidding war, an Alberta-based restaurant has won an auction for an unusual <laughs> piece of government property. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. Uh, the government of Alberta selling a Donair costume. <laughs> Look at this costume, Erica. <laughs> yes, I remember. I, yeah, everybody was wondering. I could, yeah. I could see you going in, uh, for Halloween as that. Would you like to do that? Sure. I, I can't see. I don't, how do you see through that thing? <laughs> I'd have to guide you around. Yeah. Uh, the latex vulcanized rubber costume bought by the government of Alberta in 2015 for a public service announcement about the dangers of driving while stoned on marijuana. Uh, that never came to be, though, so they, they were looking to sell it. And a, a Donair restaurant in Alberta paid 16000 for this. It did spark a bit of a debate because there's lettuce in the costume, and some people were saying, hey, lettuce this doesn't belong <laughs> in a donor. Okay, fair enough. I wonder if they can take it out of the costume or maybe dye it a different color or something. <laughs> My dog would attack me if I wore a donor costume. <laughs> it's true. All right. Uh, finally, we're learning more on how apps like TikTok are impacting children. So this is bad news for us too, Eric. I mean, we're not kids, but I mean, there's a thing now called TikTok Brain. <laughs> And, you know, TikTok, for those who don't know, it's, it's this app and it's an endless stream of short videos. You go from one to another with a swipe of your thumb. Experts say those who binge watch these short form videos find it harder to participate in activities that don't offer instant gratification. The platform, they say, is a dopamine machine. When you scroll and you hit upon something you like, you get a shot of dopamine in your brain. And some believe this can lead to uh, the development of addictive behavior, especially in young people people with developing brains. Are you worried about TikTok brain, Erica? I'm very much worried about that. I, I do scroll on TikTok sometimes and then you like time escapes you and you realize you've been on it for like half an hour or something, right? I'm not so. proud of this. Do you want to know my record? When I got COVID, I had nothing to do and I was on TikTok and then I look back on the you know, screen time and I spent one day when I was sick nine hours on oh. TikTok. I'm not proud of it. Beat that, kids. But it happened. Nine hours. Beat that. <laughs> <All> <laughs> My right. brain is mush. It's complete mush at this point. <laughs> You've recovered. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya.